Hi everyone and welcome back to Minecraft! Yay! <laughs> to start things off, I was AFKing at my zombie XP spawner and yeah, it's time for another pick. I did enchant this sword, which um, does have looting free on it. This is pretty much the only reason why I use it. Uh, Bane of Arthrofrots 4 actually gave me the trophy for deal more um, deal 9 hearts damage with one blow. That's just by killing a spider and yeah, let's see what we can get here. We did get efficiency 4, unbreaking 3 and fortune 3. Yes, that is awesome. That's exactly the pick that I want. Now I have my normal mining pick and this one for the redstone and diamonds and emeralds. Yeah, awesome. Wow, cool. That went better than expected. Woohoo. <laughs> love it. I love it. Yeah, so um, I don't think I have done anything except cutting down the, tree, uh, the trees in here, but um, yeah, now I think it is time to set up our um, netherward farm somewhere near here. Ah, do I have more iron? Yes, I do. You know what? Maybe we do have enough resources. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But um, let's quickly see, let's quickly see. We will need a bunch of hoppers, that's pretty much the only problem. Um, you know what, 12 could actually be exactly the amount we need, which is nice. Then we need a double chest, we will need... Ooh, I will have to craft some repeaters though. Yeah, hmm, okay, you know what, I will gather up the resources we need and then we pretty much pick a place where to build this and we see us again then, so see you soon. Okay guys, so I have decided to put it right after the smeltery here and um, yeah, it's a pretty simple design, we just take um, a bunch of hoppers out of here basically. So we have to go back more and more and more and more and more. I will have to farm for some more iron and then um, I'm pretty much prepared. But uh, I just thought, hey, you know what? I will start this. You will get the idea of how I build it. And then we can um, finish it off camera. So there we go. There will our sticky pistons be. And uh, yeah, now, yeah, you have them here. Perfect. So the soul sand will sit on top of that sticky pistons. Those will be extracted by default. So the soul sand is right above the hoppers. And then you just simply press a button to harvest over here-ish or at the corner or something. Then the pistons retract. The network will get harvested, fall down into these hoppers and end up in this chest. So yeah, that is the plan. Um, I will have to farm some more soul sand, some more iron and some nether bricks because I thought, hey, why not testing um, building with nether bricks? I never done that before and uh, I thought it could look nice. So yeah, that's what I'm doing and I will meet up with you once I'm finished. So yeah. Okay, guys, I am back and uh, yeah, this is how it looks. We have our little nether ward farm over here. I was using it just for testing reason and everything just works fine. I went ahead and decorated this with uh, some nether bricks and uh, a little lava light here at the back. And uh, yeah, so I have to farm a lot of materials to uh, continue with, uh, with our next big project, which will be um, a sugarcane farm. And uh, yeah, I will have to gather um, a ton of iron and I basically craft a lot of pistons, repeaters, and uh, yeah. So this is something that I will do off camera, of course, and uh, I thought, well, actually we could take a little adventure. And uh, if you look at our map, I have crafted a new one, and um, you know what, we'll just pick uh, this direction over here, and yeah, just explore. So, oh, heck, yay! <laughs> Let us see what we can find over here and uh, what I'm looking for actually is a village because I have big plans with villagers and um, 
yeah, I hope that I can build something epic with villagers in this let's play or uh, yeah, a little bit later on though. It will take a lot of time to get to the point where I'm able to build what I want and what I had in mind. But let's see if we can find something in this direction. Let's take an elevated position and scout the area I had a little bit. Looks like, yeah, this is the desert where I was sand gathering. Yeah, right, that's this one. Perfect. So we will take a little right-ish here and, ah, uh, come on, let's just fall down, whatever. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. What do we have over here? Looks like not much and uh, let's eat and heal up. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so yeah, write me down in the comment section below if you have something in mind that you would want me to build. I have no bones on me. Ooh, that would be... Nice, but oh well, at least we know they're spawning here, so we can come back later. Uh, yeah, write me in the comment section down below if you have a project in mind, or if you want to build me something, just uh, suggest it to me and I will take a look at it. And if it's something that I'm able to build, I would happily do so. So, yeah, that is it. Looks like we hit snow soon. So let us took let us take a little detour here and um hey piggies. Okay, 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 okay. Huh, doesn't look too interesting at the moment over here. But that can change in an instant. <laughs> That's just how Minecraft works. Um, yeah, I don't think we will find a lot of things here. If we get lucky and find some melons, that would be great. And I need melon seeds as well, so I really have to scout out the mine and uh, the caves nearby if there is any mob spawner or abandoned mine shaft in there. So we can find melon seeds and basically made a farm out of it. Because splash potions, yay! <laughs> the zombie XP farm now is, is just so manual. It's oh, it's a pain to farm a lot amount of XP there, and uh, with some splash potions of healing, that would be such a relief. Now let's see. I don't think there is much in that that direction, so we will take the road up here or actually around it yeah around it will be fine and there's a jungle yes okay if you would find a jungle temple that would be something nice there is usually a really good loot in there hey piggy now let us, oh, cocoa beans, you know what? That is the perfect opportunity to gather a little bit of this jungle wood and some cocoa beans so we can plant them at our base. Let's have a look, six, five, yeah, yeah, that's, that is basically all we need. There is a mushroom biome over there, oh. My favorite place to mine because there is no mob spawning in the mushroom biomes. And uh, yeah, you don't have to live up your your mine shaft. You just basically pop in a, a potion of night vision and you're good to go. So that is something to look out for, especially for speed mining where you just have an efficiency 5 pick and a beacon with haste 2. You can insta-mine a whole mushroom biome <laughs> and don't even have to bother with mobs, so... Yeah, let's traverse through this jungle. Hmm... Hmm, hmm, hmm... Hmm, 
Okay, we will climb this mountain and we, I will meet you up there. Okay, so we are up on a pretty high tree now and um, yeah, it really doesn't look like much over here. But um, we will have to climb this other side there and have a closer look because yeah, from here on I don't see much and uh, oh well. Sometimes, ooh, we hit the ground there. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to search around, and I do like exploring. I do like it a lot. Um... No. <laughs> yeah, I did get asked from a, a good buddy of mine if I do like caving and stuff, and yeah, sure, man. I mean, caving is great for not only for getting resources, it's just, it's so much fun. Especially early in the game where you don't have armor and stuff That's when it's really Not uh, not only challenging, but uh, I just it's, it's just fun. I don't know. I, I mean everybody loves a different part of this game. Obviously, that's, that's just How it should be with a uh, with such a creative game like this But uh, for me it was always the, uh, the adventure part and uh, redstone of course those are the two parts that I do like the most. And uh, yeah, oh shoot! <laughs> Little fail here and there. <laughs> that is not a problem. So it does look like there's no mu not much here though. Which is a bit of a bummer, but... Uh... Hmm. I will scout around even more, leave the recording running, and then when I will find something interesting, I will bring you guys back in, so... Wait a second... <laughs> this is another desert, yes, I am wondering... Is that at a, at a well, or could we potentially hit the desert temple somewhere over here? That would be really great too. But it does look like just a well or something, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Alright, I will scout out this, this desert completely and uh, I will meet you back once I have made progress. So, yeah, see you soon. Okay, I am back, guys, and as you see, we have made a little circle around the map. And I didn't find something interesting, except for these cocoa beans. So, uh, yeah, we'll just plant them here, let them grow, harvest them, and um, yeah, that is pretty much it. So, I will end the episode here. We'll, we will meet up next time. I will go down to the mine and uh, go to work. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new, and as always guys, take care. Bye.
and uh, yeah basically try and uh, get as many resources as I can 